Hello and welcome back to Viking Whiskey. Uh, today I'm going to be treating myself with um, something very special. A 35-year-old um, Springbank from Ian McLeod's Chieftains series. This whiskey was laid down in 1968. <coughs> That's quite a few years before I was born and was bottled in 2003. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one. Details coming up on the screen here. So, it's in the glass. <coughs> here goes. <coughs> Wow, that is something. Mm. <laughs> this is going to be a long one. <laughs> you have so many things you want in the nose right there. We have... Um, Cocktail berries, that sort of slight, very, very slight acetone. Um, on top of that fruity sweetness, um, you've got the typical sherry notes, um, your dried fruits, your just a hint of apricot, you've got roasted bananas. Mm. Figs. Mm. Dates, prunes, everything there. <laughs> wow. Mm. Really nice wooden notes coming through as well. Wow, this is. I could do this for a long time. <clears throat> well, let's try it. Wow, <laughs> this is a powerhouse. This is absolutely fantastic. Mm. Got a nice dose of, of Muscovado sugar, um, peppermint candy. Um, dates coming through again that sugary sweet dried fruit uh, mm. clear notes of vanilla some honey mm. Mm. Bit of gingerbread. Mm. I need more of this. <clears throat> wow. That, that age is really, really coming through. Um, mm. <clears throat> you 
you can really start to sense the uh, the oaky notes that I want to poke through at this point. Having got about three nice chews into the glass. Um, and of course they want to get in there and dominate because it's been 35 years there, but um, it's not in a bad way at all. It's just full, really fills up your mouth, dries a little bit on the gums, but, but uh, nothing overwhelming at all. Balances out with the sweetness just perfectly. Mm. Uh, and I love that about a good nose. After a few nice chews and you go back and it's just even better than it was to begin with. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if you're not jealous of me, then <clears throat> you don't like whiskey. <laughs> Now the oak starts to dominate a bit more um, when we get to the finish, but we're keeping very nice notes of uh, French waffles. These whipped cream with vanilla. Just that sort of syrup of sweetness hanging there still. But, but it, it's just notes because you have that very full oaky dryness that comes out now here at the end, um, which is still just perfect for a whiskey this old. I'll say on the finish it lands very, very nicely. Mm, it really does. Um, I mean, the, the balance is almost perfect. It just, mm, it's very warm, it's very long, very smooth, but at the end, it's still leaning a bit more towards those slightly bitter oaky notes than towards all that fun, <laughs> fruity sweetness. So, <clears throat> it's almost there. It's very close to perfect. Mm. So, to rate this nose, this is a dream. This nose is a solid 96. Fantastic. Oh. Mm. Mm. There was only one whiskey that I rated higher than 96 on the nose. And you're gonna have to ask me which one, <laughs> if you want to know. <clears throat> So 96 on the nose, um, the taste, ninety two, very very good. But I mean, it's it's still, mm, it's still the nose. <laughs> wow. And on the finish, it's taking it just a little. I mean, it's almost perfect. So we're going to go with 91 on the finish. All in all, very, very good whiskey. So, going to finish this one off. 
have fun and hopefully I'll see you for the next one. Cheers.